Hi, I'm Melissa from McFadden Living on Instagram, a DIY and home decor account where you can learn to do some cool things around your house. I am super excited to be joining you today for Innisfil Maker Fest, and today for my how to and 10, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own uh, do-it-yourself baby slash pet gate. Um, in case you don't like the regular sort of barred ones that they sell in the store, this one's more of a, a farmhouse style and then you can build it custom for your space so that it always fits no matter what. Uh, it can also be used on a patio not only for your stairs, um, so there's a few different purposes. So I hope you enjoy. So as you can see our current baby gate situation is not working out anymore. Our baby is one and she totally knows how to pull down these pieces of hardboard. So I'm getting So we're going to do four pieces um, around the edge in wood, we're going to do a brace in wood, and then in the back there's going to be all these slats of MDF. So in the end, we're going to put our little latch here. We have some decorative deck gate braces that we're going to put here to mount it to the wall, and that's the plan. So I just want to show you what we're going to be using to put this together. This is a pre-primed piece of MDF. It is uh, four inches wide and we're going to be using this for the back and we're going to put a whole bunch of them together to make that slatted look. We are going to be using wood just to add some strength to our gate so that we're you know, screwing everything into um, actual wood rather than MDF since we know that our babies and pets might be knocking into our gate. Um, we've just got some pieces of wood and that's going to be what we build the outside uh, square part of the gate. And then we have this smaller piece two and this is going to be used as the top cap a little decorative piece just to cover up where the uh, top of these slats are going to be meeting uh, this wood and we've got our little gate latch and then we've got these decorative hinges gate hinges that we're going to be using so some other things that are going to be useful for this project project is a hand sander, uh, but if you don't have one, you could always use a sanding sponge or just sand by hand. Um, construction adhesive, because we're going to be gluing some of it together. A nail gun, and you could also do this, I suppose, with um, some nails and a hammer, but this makes it a whole lot easier and a miter saw, and obviously in the end, some paint and wood filler. And let's not forget about the drill. And this is my little munchkin that I'm trying to keep from going up the stairs. <gasps> so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along this line using our saw and then take a little piece out because we're gonna mount this on our wall and this is gonna sit over our baseboard so that we're able to sit our gate and we're gonna attach our hinge to this piece here and it's gonna open up and that way we can um, drop the uh, gate over down to where our baseboard is so there's not a big gap between our stairs otherwise she'd probably be able to fit her head underneath and, and get stuck which we don't want her to do. So what I'm doing now is I've got the cut down the center of my board, or it's as deep as my baseboard is, and I have a coping saw. You could really use any saw to be this kind of saw. And I'm just going to cut where I marked the height of my baseboard to be. again and it's time to start measuring our boards. So what we're gonna do is I've marked on this 2x4 
where the height of our gate is going to be and then I've used a square to just make sure that they're all lined up and then what I'm going to do is use my square over here just line it up on the board and give them a score and that's a nice super quick way to mark all your boards at once safety goggles on cut time and then you go for it and multiply that by a whole bunch. Okay, so I've finished all the cuts for the back slats and I've also made the cuts for the sides um, out of pine. And now we just need to glue and nail and screw it all together. So I'm going to be using a Craig jig to attach all of our boards that we just primed and painted, which is going to be the wood outside frame for the gate. And the way that a Craig jig uh, works is it basically creates little pocket holes, which I'm going to show you on my little tester piece. So you can see it creates these pieces so that when I put my other piece against it, it'll just pop right through the side and I can attach them together like, so imagine this was the piece, it will pull like this and you can put your screw right in through here um, and it's super quick and super easy. So let's make some pocket holes. And there you have it. Okay, so the frame is together, and now we're going to be nailing and gluing the uh, back slats onto it. To do the X brace, I pretty much laid a piece of wood, like a full piece of wood, like this, across, and I lined it up from corner, like this, all the way into this corner, and then I marked the lines, and then I made my first cut, and then once I had that angle done, I just cut the other side, um, because it was at the very tip, I just cut, you can see this angle was ever so slightly um, off, so I didn't change it, I just, kept it what it was on the other side and I cut it and you can see that we've got a perfect fit on both sides. Now I'm not going to change the angle for the next one either. I'm just going to have to flip the wood and cut it on the back side to get the correct angle for this side and it will fit perfectly. So I used a wood filler and all of these spots which have now all been sanded down. In the corners I used uh, caulking to fill it and then I used like a regular dry dex type spackle to fill the holes and they're pretty much invisible now which is perfect. All right so we've got all the uh, edges all filled so and, and primed so we are ready for paint. Time to hang the gate, which means we have to figure out where our post has to go on the wall so that it can connect over here. So the way that we're going to do that is we're measuring the depth of the stair to where the post begins because we're going to be connecting it into this post. So you can see that it's six inches. Then we've come over to this side 
And using a laser level, once we've uh, got the tape measure here, we know that we have to get a marking on the wall at six. So we used our laser level to line up with six, and then we made sure that the bubble was level and lined up with six, and then we made a marking on the wall. Here I can show you the little one and then that's where we're gonna do our level line up the wall and put our I don't know what to call the bracket so to mount we don't have a stud where it needs to be one's way over here and the other one is like way over here so we placed our piece on the wall we marked where the hinges were gonna go so that we didn't obviously put our um, screws into the wall where we need to put our hinges so we held it in place we screwed these pieces in to mark on the wall where we wanted our anchors to go and then we used some screw in anchors we have one at the top and then we've got one at the bottom So we're just lining them up so they're centered within this piece. And then we are going to Okay, so we've got the gate all mounted and hung. And the last thing we need to do is just add hardware and then we're all set. Thank you so much for joining me at Innis Filmmaker Fest. I, I hope that it inspired you to hopefully build a gate somewhere in your house, whether it be on your porch or your stairs for your baby, for your pet, whatever it may be. If you're looking for any other cool tips, tricks, and things you can try around the house, check us out at McFadden Living. Uh, on Instagram, uh, you know, whether it's doing a DIY sponge wallpaper for pretty much under a dollar if you already have paint, uh, or, uh, you know, how to redo your backsplash. We just put a mini mudroom into our front closet just to spruce things up. Uh, picture frame molding on your walls, uh, board and batten molding on your walls. There's lots of cool projects to check out, and we'd love to see you there. <laughs>